Hello everyone and welcome to the Tech Upskill channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your PC when you've forgotten your BitLocker password, lost the recovery key, and can no longer log into Windows. If you're stuck at the BitLocker lock screen and don't know what to do, don't worry. I'll guide you through a method that allows you to access and save your personal files from Drive D before reinstalling Windows. On my own computer, I have important data stored on Drive D that I want to preserve. So today I'll show you how to safely backup files from Drive D. However, please note, you will not be able to access or recover files from Drive C unless you have the BitLocker password or recovery key. All data on Drive C will be permanently deleted during the reinstallation process. With that in mind, let's get started. When you're on the BitLocker lock screen, press the Escape key. In the following screen, press Escape again to enter the system recovery menu. Click Skip this drive and then go to Troubleshoot. BitLocker will not allow you to use the Reset This PC function, so you need to open command prompt to enter some simple commands that will clear drive C. Click on advanced options, then select command prompt. Once you're in the command prompt, type disk part and press enter to launch the disk partition tool. Next, type list disk and press enter. This will show all disks connected to your PC. In my case, I have two disks, disk 0 and disk 1. I know that my system disk, drive C, is 232 gigabytes, so I'll select disk 0. Type select disk 0 and press enter. Your disk number may differ. Then type clean and press enter. This command removes BitLocker encryption and deletes all data on drive C. To exit disk part, type exit and press enter twice to close the command prompt. Now that the system disk is clean, we can proceed with a fresh installation of Windows 10 or Windows 11 using a bootable USB flash drive. If you need help creating a bootable USB, I've included a full step-by-step -step guide. Check the video description for the link. I hope this video helped you out. Just keep in mind, BitLocker cannot be bypassed with software alone. It's designed to work with hardware like the TPM, Trusted Platform Module, making it nearly impossible to access encrypted data without the correct password or recovery key. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.